If you're looking to combo your opponents to death or just swing a giant spirit sword, then pay attention because today I'm going to teach you about my favorite character in Naraka Blade Point, Yoto Hime. Hey everyone, it's OSK, and you've probably been comboed to death a time or two in your Naraka Blade Point matches. Well, what if I told you that there is a character you can use that will let you combo any enemy to death in a split second? Yes, of course, you heard her name in the intro. Yodo Hime is an absolute beast of a character right now, and it's why I main her. And in today's video, I'm going to show you all the basics of Yodo Hime, some combos you can do with every weapon, and the strategies that I use to dominate my opponents game in and game out. If you want to see some of the juicier topics to improve your Naraka Blade Point gameplay, then make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video so you do not miss a single tip. But now it's time to dive right in and get into the ultimate guide for Yodo Hime. Why do they challenge me? Starting with the basics, buy the demon skin. It's actually pretty good. Nah, but in all seriousness, Yodohime is a straight up combo assassin and you should treat her as such. She can have high mobility or high CC, but one thing she will always have is access to combos and tons of damage. If you're ever behind in a fight with a quick stagger or knockdown, you'll be able to string together combo after combo to turn the tide in your favor. Yodohime's main skill is called Spirit Slash, which lets her throw out a spirit sword which deals damage to enemies it hits and recharges if you slay an enemy with the ability. As with all characters, it comes in three forms. The starting skill is my personal favorite, and this lets you toss out your spirit sword and blink back to it for a blue focus uppercut. The sword will also stop during the throw if it hits a surface or an enemy. The second version of the skill lets Yodo Hime throw out her spirit sword and makes it return with an extra slash as she grabs it, useful for extra damage. And finally, her third version lets her slowly toss out a spirit sword that rotates very slowly and lingers in the area, and this will block all basic attacks and stagger enemies. This can let Yodo get a quick combo off or even heal inside the sword. Again guys, the version that I like to use the most is the first basic ability and we'll get into why a bit later in our combo section. You've probably seen Yodo Hime's ult before, and it's called Ominous Blade. This lets her summon a massive sword that slashes people in front of her three times for big damage. You can also use the Spirit Sword Blink if you're in the ult to reposition after every slash. The basic Ominous Blade lets her do the regular three slashes with extra damage if they are, are nearby enemy cairns, great for trios especially. The second version allows her to heal health and armor from nearby cairns with a bit of reduced damage for each slash. And finally, the third version is my personal favorite. And this lets Yodo Hime slash an extra three times with her Ominous Blade more quickly for some extra damage. This one is my preferred choice, especially for solos. In terms of weapons, Yodo Hime really likes the spear and dagger in the current patch. Both of these weapons have their own strengths, but they also really help with Yodo's combos in combination with her basic skills that I'll get into later. The spear is a really great spacing tool that Yodo can combo with both her regular spirit slash and slower spirit slash for extra combos and dragon slayers. It pairs with her very well. The dagger on the other hand is her best combo weapon and Yodo especially has the most fun with this weapon in comparison to other characters. If you haven't watched my previous guide on the dagger, I highly recommend it. It's a good watch, but I also show off a ridiculous zero to death combo that Yodo can do. And it's one that actually does work in the real game. And I've tested it multiple times and I've used it to carry myself to some high kill games with it. And I'll show it later on in this video as well in the combo section. Overall, I'd say Yodo Hime is definitely one of the stronger characters in the game right now, especially in solos due to her combo potential and high base damage. Her basic kit can be a little intimidating at first, but if you put in the time learning some combos, you'll have a much easier time dominating with her than most other characters. Overall, I'd give her a difficulty rating 4 out of 5. She's definitely not the hardest character in the game to play, but learning her combos and knowing when they apply can take some getting used to. I'd say she's difficult to pick up right away, but once you learn the character, she can be absolutely filthy with crazy combo strings. And speaking of combos, how about you hit the old 1-2 and drop a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the video so far. It's a true combo that always works from what I hear. Ah, no more feelings, friend. Why do they challenge me? It never ends well. My weapon is restored. Now let's get into the real combos for Yodohime. 
For this section, I will focus on the best single combo that I could find for each melee weapon in the game for Yorohime with her basic ability, the Standard Spirit Slash. In general, I'd say the comboing definitely relies a lot on aerial attacks and knowing how to juggle in general, so if you're not comfortable doing that yet, make sure you practice up because we're going to be doing a lot of that and then adding a pinch of Yorohime in there. To start, let's present the best combo I could find for the Great Sword. Next, we have the best combo I could find for the long sword. Next is the katana. The moment for my vengeance is not yet known. Now for the spear. And finally, that insane combo from the dagger. Of course, these are just the best combos that I could come up with for the purposes of this video, but there are sure to be more combos out there, and there might even be better ones than these that are discovered later. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys to dig deep and find the best combos you can for Yodohime, and maybe even let me know about them, so I definitely won't abuse them in solo queue. Also, to clarify one point that I mentioned in my combat guide, which you definitely should watch by the way, you'll want to leave melee aim assist on for most of these combos, as they will auto-target and sometimes, like including for the dagger combo, they will include an extra little dash, which is something that I wasn't expecting honestly, but it is indeed in the game. So if you're going to try and combo with Yodo, definitely turn your melee aim assist on. Vengeance is not yet nigh. They challenge me. All right, everyone. As I said at the beginning, Yodohime is an absolute combo machine, and you typically want to use her spirit slash to go for combos, as we showed before. Landing any of those combos or others are essential to piloting Yodohime like a master, and it's the central piece of her kit. You need to get good with it, or you're not going to be good in game, or at least not as good as you could be. Her Ominous Blade is good if you're in a pinch with multiple enemies, but other than that, I would not use it too often. It leaves her as a sitting duck for Vajra grabs and Viper Ning stuns, both of which can interrupt her ult immediately, so be mindful of that in those situations. When looting, I'm always wanting to find a spear or a dagger to unleash some combos or space out my opponents, whichever you prefer. Personally, I feel like the dagger was made specifically for Yodohime's kit, especially the basic spirit slash skill, so anytime you use any of these weapons, try to land an uppercut if you can. The dagger is even better at this because it has a focus attack uppercut. It's actually insane. As far as soul jades, Yodohime is in the unique position to prioritize attack soul jades to increase the potency of her combos. Building Glass Cannon Yodo is something I've definitely done a time or two, and you can get some nasty damage with it. Also, if you find the Desperation Jade, it's basically GG. The Desperation Jade increases your damage while you're low on health, which is so good for Yodo's highly damaging kit. If you're not confident enough to run Glass Cannon, I recommend just running the usual health and melee resist jades. You can never go wrong with those. Now, if you are in trouble in a fight, one strategy that I like to do is throw out my Spirit Slash in the direction of my enemy to stagger them repeatedly while I run away or grapple. Usually the distance you gain by doing this is enough to completely get away or reset the fight, either of which is very good for you. On the other hand, you always want to make sure you're paying attention to the enemy's health bar, as if it dips low enough, you might be able to convert the focus uppercut into a kill combo, so that's something to think about. There are so many different ways to play Yodohime, and at the end of the day, her damage potential is just huge. You can truly carve out a playstyle that works well for you and dominate the competition. Honestly, I would not be surprised if she receives a nerf or two just due to the dagger combo alone, but for right now, she is very strong and I would definitely recommend putting in the time to learn her if you really need a character to main. But that's going to be the end of the video guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know below your favorite thing about playing as Yodohime and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you feel like I did a good job and you learned something here today. But anyway, I need to go play some more Naraka, I've been OSK, y'all have a great day, 
and I'll see you in the next one.